I came jealous for the honor of the eternal son, jealous for the one who came down to earth and died for us. I came jealous for a full revelation of the love of God, who demonstrates his great heart for us, not by sending a glorified man to die for us, but by giving of his very self, his own son, his own unique son, coming into... But that's what you're missing, Dr. Brown. When you believe in a trinity, you don't believe God truly gave a son. You believe part of God gave another part of God. You don't believe Jesus Christ is literally God's son. You believe he's metaphorically God's son in the sense that the son submits to the father in a role within the trinity. So therefore, you don't believe like I believe in my heart that God sacrificed a true son. A literal son, like like I have a son, I don't know if you have a son or not, but God, in the same sense that it would be like me putting my son on an altar, in the same sense that it would be like uh, Abraham putting Isaac on the altar, which was a foreshadowing of what was to come, that was how God really sacrificed the son. He didn't sacrifice just someone that submits to him in, in an ontological trinity. He sacrificed his unique begotten son. And this is what where your heart isn't and where mine is. And that's why I do these videos. Because because of the Trinity doctrine, people don't know God gave his divine son for us. God gave something so precious to him. He didn't give part of himself. He gave his son. And, you know, a lot of people could give like a, a passionate little plea for people to believe what they want to believe in but they don't other people don't realize that all your passion is misdirected because what God wanted us to know was that he sent his son he didn't want to he didn't want to send his son here that we call him the most high he wanted us to know he gave his son for us that's what salvation lies in understanding that God gave his son there is nowhere in the Bible that says we're saved by believing Jesus is the Most High. But we are saved by believing he's the Son of God. And anybody who says that has eternal life according to the Bible.